Hey guys, thought I'd let you have a look at uh, a revolver which I picked up uh, in the spring or late winter. And it is a Colt police positive target in 22 long rifle. And uh, let's have a little closer look at it. It's your standard uh, Colt double action revolver on a small frame. I believe this would be the D frame. See, it's got uh, an adjustable rear sight. Adjustable blade front sight. Have a look at the other side. See the markings on it? Colt Police Positive Target, caliber 22. And it's a six shot, standard type Colt, swing out uh, cylinder. See the Colt logo on the grips, and the rampant horse on the frame. Actually, I guess that's a side plate. It's got checkered walnut grips. A little bit of checkering on the back strap. See how the sights adjust side to side for windage. And a nice big square front target sight. It's a bit of wear on this gun, but it's uh, it locks up tight as a vault. Cylinder opens in the usual cold fashion. Pull the cylinder latch to the rear, tip the cylinder out. You can see the cylinder has recesses for the rimfire cartridges. There's the ejector star. Got a knurled ejector rod there. And of course, just loads, same as any other swing out cylinder double action revolver does. It's always harder to load these things when you're working around a camera and a tripod.
Okay, we've got uh, Federal Champion Value Pack. There's a group with that. We've got uh, Federal American Eagle, 40 grain. There's a group with that. CCI Mini Mag. And some older Winchester T22 Target. Federal Game Shock. Predator. Winchester Dynapoint GT. And Winchester 333 bulk pack. That's with some very old Eli target ammo. We'll have a box of that. And that's with some Remington game modes. CCI Stinger. Imperial Target. Alright, we've got the newer Winchester T22 Target and it's shot a God awful group, look at that from there up to there. And then just for shits and giggles, some old Winchester Super X 22 shorts. And one, two, three, four, five. I guess one of those holes is, oh, sorry, six. 